This video is an explanation of how the dispatch router routes messages to Anycast addresses. When a router receives messages that are bound for an Anycast address, if it has receivers for that address on more than one route, then it decides which route to use based on the cost of each route. The cost of a route has two components. If the route goes to a remote router, then the local router's config file can be used to assign a fixed cost to that inter-router connection. The router also maintains an undelivered queue for each route. The current depth of that queue is the other component of the route's cost. When the router receives a message for an Anycast address, if all routes have zero cost, and if one of those routes is local, that is, directly attached to the router, then the router will always choose the local route. However, if the only routes to the address are remote, but their costs are still zero, then the router will round robin messages across all routes. Finally, if the routes are all remote, then the router will send each message to whichever route has the lowest total cost where the total cost is the sum of the configured fixed cost plus the current undelivered queue size.